Hi Aquarius. Um, I think that the video skipped, so already the lip, the syncing of the audio and the video is probably off. I apologize for that. It's happening. I can't do anything about it. Moving on. Um, and I'm not the only one that's having technology problems. And honestly, a lot of it is like when your vibration is raised like really, really high and you're doing really like all of the work that you're supposed to be doing and meditating and doesn't matter how much energy clearing I do, technology is going to be affected by my energetic vibration. And it's so it's kind of a good thing that it's not working correctly because that just means that I've got a high vibe. So um, we are welcome to your soulmate reading. Sorry, I needed to um, get some of my Starbucks. Um, if you would like to see purchase the extended version of this reading, both of the options for that are in the description box below this video. Um, you can get it on Vimeo, directly on Vimeo, or you can order it off of my website and have it um, have a private YouTube link sent to you. Totally up to you, doesn't really matter. Um, some people like to get their sun, moon, and rising sign. If you like to do that as well as your counterpart or your your um, person that you're watching for, um, I suggest just getting the playlist. It's a cheaper option. Um, again, you don't have to do it that way, but I like to give all of the options so people aren't like constantly spending tons of money. I'm trying to help everybody out. So we're going to look at your soulmate. We're going to get the oracle cards first, and the extended version is when we clarify with tarot. So we're going to look at your soulmate's headspace, see where they are. Aquarius, soulmate's headspace for October. Welcome to October. And I can't believe it's already October 2018. Kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So Aquarius, soulmate's headspace for October... <clears throat> Whoa. All right. I'm not taking all of those. I am going to take this one. So this is the moon card. It's called Confront in, this, in the Oracle deck. But it represents the moon in traditional tarot. Um, I feel like if your soulmate is kind of pulled back from you, they're really looking at themselves and they're being very honest with themselves during October. And I think they're kind of recognizing that they have to come into this space, space of honesty with themselves, really looking at themselves in the mirror and seeing what it is that they need to change or um, just really seeing who they are. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what's going on in Aquarius Soulmates Heart Space for October. There it is. Wow, another major arcana. Listen. So this is the High Priestess. Um, they could be somebody who's extremely intuitive, possibly a healer, but also quite, like, kind of keeps to themselves. Um, doesn't have to be somebody who is a healer, but um, in their hearts, they're not opening up. I feel like they're not really opening up to the outside world. They're keeping things to themselves, and I feel like they're doing this for a reason, it's like they're being very uh, elusive um, and pro possibly towards you, too. I don't feel like they want to open up. And I think the, the reason why they're doing that is because they're they're doing a lot of sorry, I got to get situated. Um, they're doing a lot of inner work, inner soul work um, and really learning how to listen to their own intuition. So let's see what's going on in a Oh, there we go. I didn't even have to finish my sentence in your soulmate's environment is move another major arcana. This is the chariot. So they could actually be moving in October. And this is might be why they kind of pulled back a little bit. They're, I feel like they're trying to find out where they belong, you know, and they're trying to be really honest with themselves and like location, location, location is really what I want to say for some reason. And so in their environment with the chariot, they want to move in a direction that's correct for them. And this is all happening in divine timing. It's like everything is being divinely guided. They could be moving towards you in October. We'll see how that goes in the extended. But if they seem a little bit quiet to you in October, it looks like they're doing a lot of really deep inner work. 
and knowing, and it's because they feel this momentum. They feel this like pickup in momentum. So let's see what the energy is between the two of you in November. There we go. Oh my gosh, blossom, judgment. It's like a call to action. All major arcanas, you guys. This is really big. Your soulmate's going through something pretty big. Um, judgment is the major arcana. Um, it's called Blossom in this deck. It's the major arcana right before the very last major arcana. So the world card is the last one. So they're coming to the end of a cycle, and they're really, really feeling it big time. And I think that it's kind of like, no, this the time is now. You have to move now. You have to go in a new direction now. You have to listen to divine timing now. Like, you can't stay stagnant anymore. Things are happening. And I think that might be why they could be a little elusive. But um, they're definitely looking at themselves in their head space, and they're feeling their own intuition and feeling their energy in their heart space. So really great so far. Again, if you guys would like to have the extended... Both of the options are in the description box. You can go to Vimeo or you can go to my website and order it. And I will see you guys for the second half of October. Bye.